Right, so let's just go back a quick video um, showcasing the latest version of the Xbox Soft Modern Tool Extras disc. Now, what's different about this disc is this disc can differentiate between my soft mod and other person's soft mod and a hard modded system. Now, there's two reasons I've done this. Uh, one is to stop people using my disc on other soft mods because I don't want the chance that they install something and it doesn't work as they intended then they blame me or they damage the soft mod because whatever I've done or whatever they install etc deletes something or it won't but in the off chance that they delete something let's say they blame me so this way I can't be blamed because it's all manual the only way around it is to do stuff manually um, the other reason is people installing this on installing my soft mod on hard modded systems now I don't know how many times I need to say I don't know how many times other people need to say don't install a soft mod on a hard modded system you can't the reason you can't is because the BIOS is not retail if the BIOS is not retail the memory patches that the NK patcher does doesn't work um, or even the Ernie font doesn't work because the offsets are all different the memory locations are all different because it's a hack BIOS. Chips can use soft mods if you boot the chip disabled. Um, so essentially it'll boot the retail BIOS that's on the TSOP that's built into the Xbox or the ROM on a version 1.6. Basically, hard modded, don't soft mod, simple. This disc will detect that and as you'll see, this is a TSOP console, so it's not a retail BIOS. And what will happen is, when this disc loads, it will load to a different menu telling you that you're hard modded or you get a hack BIOS loaded. So in a sense, this should stop anybody installing my soft mode on a hacked, computer, a hacked BIOS resulting in a black screen on the next reboot because people keep doing it for whatever reason so I'm going to pause this because I need to take that drive and put it back in there because yeah, I couldn't be working in the cupboard to get another one so two seconds right so back where it should belong and this is my soft modded version 1.6 with my soft mode and XBMC for gamers as a dashboard now If I load this disc in, because this is running my soft mode, it will load a different menu. So here you'd be able to install all the extra stuff etc uh, from my extra disc um, I really should remove the upgrade old soft mods um, the reason being is because I'll simulate uh, what happens if my soft mod isn't installed what will happen is, is the XBE file, this one, uh, dumps the BIOS on boot, so when the disk is loading it dumps the BIOS, or it reads the BIOS, it checks it against an MD5 hash, and if it's not a retail BIOS, it will then check to see if it's my soft mod, if it's not my soft mod, it will then load other SM default.xb. If it's a hard modded system, it will load the hard mod default.xb. Now this can be used for hexing, for instance, so on hard modded systems you could put hexing in here, and it would load hexing on boot. Um, obviously some paths would need to be changed in the configs but you could have a disc that works with my soft mod or the older soft mods that use shortcuts on the C partition and hard mods so one disc to do them all but basically if you were running SID crazy or an old Nadar soft mod um, basically you would get this menu which would then allow you to upgrade your soft mod to mine. 
And once you do that, you'll then get the other version of the disc that you'll get what you I had prior. Um, so, basically, one disc to do everything. Uh, the source for the XB file is on my GitHub and the Xbox Soft Modern Tool repo under the Applications main, uh, folder. So, just like everything, it's open source, you can go and do what you want with it. So, anyway, that's how the new extra disc will work as it will only work with my soft mod if you're not running my soft mod it puts a upgrade menu and if you're hard modded it tells you you're hard modded so no more people installing a soft mod to a hard modded system so anyway thank you and bye bye